friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Martin with The Contoured Chemist. Today's a get ready with me day. So I'm gonna be showing you how I got this look using our newly released Crushed Velvet Collection. I was trying to remember what it's called. So I don't have the palette yet. It's on its way, but I went ahead and threw it in the other new, palette, well, semi-new palette, the Geode. And I wanted to show you guys the new colors that come in this collection and one of the many looks you can get from doing it. So if you wanna see me get ready with this collection, show you some options and some tips and tricks along the way, keep watching and be sure to hit that like button if this video helped you at all, I love to know. And don't forget to subscribe so you see when my next video drops. Thanks for being here, love you guys. All right guys, let's get into it. Let's do a little get ready with me with all of these awesome colors. But first, let's remedy this situation because let's be real, I look bald. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with a little stay spray so this can dry while I'm doing my lashes because if you are new here, you might not know I'm a huge Lashify addict and I like to do it on a clean face. So I'm going to quickly do that. If you want to see a more detailed tutorial, I will link one below, but this way my primer can dry while I do my lashes and then I'm good to go. So let's do lashes. I'm back. My lashes are on. Gave me a little, little trouble. Just wipe your wand in between. I was trying to hurry. And even though it was easy, I was struggling a little bit. Um, that's okay. All right. So my face is dry. I'm going to prime my eyes real quick. And let's get started. Let's get some makeup on. So I'm going to be using all of the shades from the Crushed Velvet Collection. Um, I don't have the compact yet. I ordered it, but um, this is the Geo that just came out not too long ago, but I want to show you all of the shades that come with it. I'm going to try to use as many as possible, like I always do. Um, I'm going to only add two things. So if you can tell, you will have room for three more shades 
if you get the entire collection. So it gives you some room to grow or six eyeshadows, which is a lot. So I'm gonna add Vanilla Dust because you guys know I always set under my eyes and my color corrector, which is Mango. Otherwise, the way this collection works is you pick your main shade and it will have a combination of a brightener highlight and a contour. And then everything else comes with it. You don't get to choose, like it is discounted because you get these exact colors. Does that make sense? So I love the color selections. This is for the holidays. So we got some glitters in there, um, some gorgeous reds and blush pinks and the perfume, the lip conditioner. I mean, it's all in there. So I'm gonna go over each one. First of all, my lips are thirsty. Um, <laughs> I can't live without this stuff. So I always put this on before my face so it has time to kind of soak in because I always do lips last, I don't know. But it has the cherry one. This is completely sheer. It is pink tinted so you can tell the difference between that one and the mint. But if you like a glossy finish or you your lips lack moisture like mine, you can layer it underneath the lip and cheeks. For more staying power though, I recommend putting the mattes on first on clean lips and then topping it with this for moisture. That makes sense. Okay, I do both. Anyway, all right, let's get started and let's do, what should we do first? Face, let's do face first. Um, I'm gonna start with Mango and one brush that comes with the collection is the Buffy and the other one is the BBF, so Best Blend Forever. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can use both. So I use the Buffy every single day for my color corrector and my main highlight. So I am just going to quickly color correct. So if you don't need a color corrector, um, you can skip this step, but I am just going to get rid of those purple tones and my hyperpigmentation right there and then my touch of redness through here. And I still have like these blemish <laughs> spots that have been there, I swear for over a month now. I just don't wanna go away. So I am spot treating as well. Okay, don't be afraid to go back and layer. Layering is fine. Use your perfector. Make sure you don't have too much. And now we can start with our main shade. So I use the same brush. I use the big end so it covers more surface area faster. And I went ahead and picked out the Sandy as my main shade. And since I used a color corrector, I'm pressing. So if you do not use a color corrector, you do not have to press on this makeup unless you like a full coverage. So this brush I feel like definitely is more of a full coverage brush, but on areas where like I don't really do much color correcting like along my jaw, you can, you can swipe, you can sweep the highlight on and it's gonna give a much more natural coverage with this brush. So I kind of like to press and flick. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. To kind of blend as I go. But I find this brush, if you're looking for a medium to full coverage, you will love this brush. The key is not swiping into the product or you will get too much product, but just by simply dab, dab, 
and use that on an entire area and then go back in for more product. So you are not using too much in any one area. I feel like that is key with this makeup. Less is more, build it up if you need more. After you do one layer, go back, look for, look, see where you need more coverage, okay? You can easily pounce that perfecter over an area, make sure you're pressing it in well, and then go back in with a little bit more coverage wherever you need it. If you don't need it in certain spots, you don't need to press on more. So I am completely evened out, nice and flat. <laughs> like I hate, I hate being flat. And we're gonna contour. So you can contour with this brush. It is not my favorite to contour with because I feel like it's hard to blend, um, more so than my detail, which you guys know is my go-to. But I wanna show you guys. So I'm gonna use the small end and I even picked out a really dark contour. So you guys can see this one is one of the hardest to blend, I feel like. And I'm just gonna pounce into that bad boy. I'm probably getting way too much, but that's okay. Okay, and I'm just pressing under that cheekbone, like so. Okay, you see how like wide of a stripe that makes, which normally I like to do a little thinner line, more of a more defined contour. I love this brush around my forehead though, because I need a thicker line in order to shrink my forehead. Okay, and then under the jaw. Okay, and I'm even gonna try using this brush to nose contour. Okay, so I'm just gonna use, see how it's kind of slanted? I'm still using the small end, and I'm gonna kind of just use the pointed part of it, and I'm gonna kind of just like draw my stripes. I gotta look in the mirror to do this. Oh man, those are some ugly stripes. <laughs> it's okay, there are no, are no mistakes with creams, remember? Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of blend that bad boy out. There I go. Totally crooked, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. Highlights the key. And we'll get there in a minute. Okay, got my stripes. Do a little under my lip. Okay, now I'm gonna flip the brush around and I'm gonna blend with the big side. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of just like gently flick <laughs> the top of my contour, and then I'm gonna press. And so I'm kind of blending that line upwards, not downwards, okay? Now, if you have any areas that are a little wonky, you can use this brush, like a magic eraser, right? You can even use some of your highlight if you need to correct. If you feel like the bottom is too strong, just kind of gently press over it Gosh, my hair is right in the way. Um, to kind of soften that line, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I usually recommend my girls, if you like a full coverage, you're gonna love this brush. But if you are new to contouring, I don't recommend it to start with for contouring because I do feel like it's harder to blend and so I would recommend um, the detail hack with it, which I feel like is a game changer for contour. At least in my opinion, it's my fave. Okay, so are we even? <laughs> All right, forehead's easier. You just wanna go up into the hairline, down your forehead, make sure you don't have any obvious lines. Blend those two. Pull it down your neck. 
Okay, so this gives more of a, I don't know, I feel like it's not as chiseled. Now, you can always just dab into your highlight and kind of push it back up, <laughs> swoop it. Okay, you wanna clean up that line. I feel like that brush just went too low right there. Are no mistakes. Just push it back to wherever you want, right? Okay, what next? We've highlighted, we've contoured. Let's accent. So I'm gonna use the same end I just contoured with. I'm not even gonna wipe off the brush. These brushes are designed to not hold on to color. So you'll see it's not gonna transfer, it's not gonna get muddy, nothing like that. And I can just go right back in, same brush, which is why it's awesome because you can use one brush for your full face. So I simply tap and I'm gonna go right under that eye and this is what's gonna Photoshop my face and add that brightness. Okay, I am going to, let's try this again. Let's use the tip again, just in, and we're gonna try to do a straight line. Oh man, I got so much highlight on there. Oh, that's okay, that's okay, we're gonna blend it out. Okay, you're good, we're good. Blend it up between the brows. We got some nice highlight right down the center. Straighten up those lines. We're golden. Okay, let's do this eye. Ooh, I dabbed into that accent brightener a little much, but that's okay. That's what the perfecter's for. Okay, all the way up to those contour stripes. Look at that. Look at the difference that brightener makes. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and perfect. So you guys know me. I like to perfect after my accent because otherwise, this is gonna look like makeup if you get up close, but once you press it into the skin, those two colors will meld together, if that makes sense. You want them to meld. You don't wanna be able to see a distinct line between where you brightened and where your main highlight shade is, okay? You want it to look natural, just like your face is lit in the middle. It's naturally lit. Okay, we want this to look natural. Not like you just piled on a bunch of highlight in the center of your face. Okay. All right, so when it comes to nose contour, I always kind of use my fingers to see if I, the perfecter can sometimes pull too much off. And then I kind of lightly will perfect my nose. Now this is my problem area right here. <laughs> Everyone's got a problem area where it likes to collect. Mine is my nose, so I'm gonna press that. Oh, much better. What's next? Okay, now we have to actually make a hard decision. So we did, okay, our trio of highlight, brightener, contour, but look at the other shades that come in this. So we have Ever Red, which is one of my favorites. Um, it's a seasonal color, so it's only comes out at the holidays and then it goes bye-bye for the rest of the year. So grab it while you can because you're going to want it in your collection. Um, it is a almost like berry red, pink undertoned red. Um, it's glossy, which you guys know my love for glossies. Um, to me, it is like a glossy version of saffron, which is one of our new shades, which is the most pigmented shade we've ever had. Like it'll stain my finger once I wipe it off. Like look at that. Okay, so if you like pigmented shades, if you're having trouble with your lip and cheek fading through the day, get that color because it won't. <laughs> um, and if you wanna put like a nice red base down for your lips, get that color. Um, that sucker will stain your lips almost like a lip stain will. Um, you could put it on really lightly and just it's like, 
it's like the perfect, I always described Ever Red as like the perfect flush, like that your cheeks naturally turn when you go out into the cold in winter, like that rosy pink flush. I just love it. But then we also have Ballerina. So Ballerina is, I love it because it's a really nice pigmented satin, but it is a very pale pink. So if you have like bare, it's like a pink undertoned neutral. So bare on me is a little too nude. And this one, if you're having trouble with like a nude lip, try this one, like line your lips with indigo or Astoria, something like that. And then try some ballerina. And I love, love the satins. You guys know they're my fave. So what should we do? Maybe we should try a few options. I'm, I think I used saffron in my last video. In my last, get ready with me. I don't remember. So let's do this. Let's try ever red on the cheeks because I'm ready for blush. Now I am going to pick up a different brush for, so I've used this so far. You know what? Let's try this brush. Okay. So the best, no, that yeah, best blend forever. I don't know why I can't ever remember that. The BBF brush. Oh, I was going to use this for my brightener. You guys, I forgot. So this end is really good for brightener. So let's just tap into it real quick. So you can easily kind of press that in right there, especially if you're one of those girls that likes a pop right there. Just create those little sun rays going out or for more mature skin, if you just wanna, it's almost like you need a smaller brush to really concentrate that um, triangle right, right here, okay? So that, look at that brightness it just added. Maybe I need more over here too. So I love this brush because it's like, it's like the perfect size to get right in there and add that brightness. Okay. So that end is great for that. And I also like this end for eyeshadow. Like it's, if you just want to like wash your lids with one color. Just try this end. It will like, it's the fastest because it's the perfect size for that. Okay. I'm going to use this end for my blush. And we're gonna go in with some Ever Red, okay? And I'm just gonna kinda tap. Now this is one of those shades that's sheer, but not. So our glosses are kind of sheer. This is hard for me because I'm not a swirler. You guys know I'm a presser. This brush doesn't really press very well because it's a little too loose. And you guys know me. I This, of course, is right where my spot is. So I'm going to kind of try to be gentle and swirl it right along that contour and give it that flesh color. Okay, I'm going to use Ballerina on the other side so you guys can see. And you'll see kind of how it gives that nude um, but pinky effect. I love it on the lips as well. Maybe we should layer. We might have to layer. Okay, some of that ever red was definitely on the brush, but <laughs> I'm failing guys, I'm failing at this video. Okay, can you see it's like a nudish, gives that glow because it's a satin and the glossy gives the glow too. So I'm gonna layer some ever red over that. I'm trying to match. And I totally got too close to my nose. So add that brightener, push it back over. Okay, I'm gonna add a little ballerina over here. <laughs> so I'm matching, so I'm matching a little bit better. Anyway, you can use this brush for, for blush. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of clean up the edges. I'm all blended. I still feel like I'm too close to my nose. Maybe it's just the camera. Okay. So that is our Ever Red and Ballerina. Okay. I feel like that brush will, is great for those girls that like a subtle flush um, of color. I'm going to add some more because I feel like you might not be able to see. So I dipped once 
into ever red Whew. there you go you guys know i love this brush because i can press it okay i went a little crazy but our, our blushes will die down in a few minutes okay so that's ever red do a little bit more. Touch the back of your hand if you don't want to get too much. Okay, I feel like a clown. So we're gonna dye that down a little bit. You guys know I like subtle lip and cheeks. Okay. And we're gonna go This video is turning into all the ways to correct. <laughs> there are no mistakes, just keep going. Until you like it, right? Okay, now I like it. So, okay, what's next? Um, this is really hard, so we're gonna try both because we have both Angel Illuminator, which is like, been my favorite for a while um ever since it came out and then number one perfume so um i've been wearing the perfumes a lot as illuminators on my cheekbones but we're just gonna use both so i can show you guys so we got number one perfume on the collarbone behind the ear a little bit down the nose so i can smell it and then we're gonna use that perfector and we're gonna pick up Angel. Now, sometimes I have clients that are like, I can't see my illuminator. Illuminator's the one thing I am generous with. So sometimes you can't see me swiping because it's down here. So I'm gonna show you. When I put on illuminator, I swipe a good like three or four times with my perfector and I use some force, okay? And then I press it on to blend. I feel like you don't get as much with your finger and look at that glow. So you just have to be generous with the illuminator. Whew, love it. Okay. I better powder under my eyes before I get creasing. So I'm going to pat it out real quick. Pick up my favorite powder brush and lightly touch. So I can get just right under that eye. I'm not gonna powder over that illuminator that I just placed. And then I'm gonna do my lids as well to set that cream before I go in with my eyeshadow. So that way I'm not getting creasing or anything like that. Okay, what else? Um. So yes, I just use this for blush, but I'm also going to use it for, I forgot, we have two illuminators in here. So I put my powders on this side. We also have Glamazing. So if you've never swatched our powder illuminators, I mean, if you like glow, you're gonna see some glow. I mean, Glamazing is like, <laughs> it's like amazing. Um, and it's really gonna give you a pop. So when I do powder illuminators, I gently touch, I tap off excess, and then I go. I want you guys to see the difference, okay? Because it's going to give you a lot of glow and you can blend it in. Because <laughs> if you don't tap off excess, you might, you might get a little too much. So there you go. It's glowy, like very glowy. Sometimes I like to kind of dye it down slightly, so I'll just kind of gently perfect over it. Because I like glow, but I don't like blinding glow. If you like blinding glow, you're gonna be obsessed with that shade in every way, shape, and form. So, okay. We did the illuminate, oh, we did do lips. So let's go ahead and do lips before we do eyes. I'm like dying to do a nude lip and a bold eye. 
So let's just try it. I want to show you guys Ballerina on the lips like I was explaining before. Um, so I'm going to use my contour to line my lips and then we're going to fill in. ballerina and indigo it's like the perfect nude lip and then I'm gonna put a little bit of angel right in the center to make them look a little bit bigger I don't recommend putting the perfume on your lips because you can kind of taste it so that is like nude nude I feel like I almost need like a touch of ever red I don't know about you guys, but I like to layer a little bit of gloss. Now that shade I love. That's more my, my nude. I don't want my lips to disappear. Oh yeah, love that combo. Okay, so that was Ballerina and a little touch of Everred, not much at all. And that's super pretty. Um, another option is that you can actually use saffron to line your lips and then fill in with Everred, which would also be pretty. So I'll try that after and add it to the pictures at the end. So, okay, we are on two eyes. I didn't spray my face. Let's spray, lock it in place. And I'm gonna do the boring part really fast and I'm going to fill in my brows and then I'll be back. So it's time to do eyes and it's really hard for me to choose because, oh man, there are so many different looks you could do with these because I put the um, Glamazing Powder Illuminator in here too because it's probably one of my favorite brighteners, um, highlights like for under the brow or your tear duct area, like inner corners. And you can use it as a shadow too. So there's countless eye looks I could do with just these. So, oh, I don't know what to choose. Um, okay. I'm going to use as many colors as I can. Um, and we'll see what happens. Let's experiment. Okay. Where should we start? I'm going to start with stay golden as my crease color and the eyeshadow everything brush, of course. And this color for me is like, it, almost the same color as my lids. Slightly warmer, like a little bit more gold. If I was gonna like add one color over my whole lid with like this brush, I would choose Stay Golden. It will even out my lids and kind of give me just a touch of color, but make it look really natural. So I'm just going windshield wiper, I'm giving myself like a base here above the hood. Okay, and then I'm going to build the color based like after that. So if you ever have difficulty getting your shadow to blend above your hood, try putting a shade like Stay Golden or even Pup is a really good one that's really nude try putting that down first and then going in with a darker shade as kind of like right in the depth. It gives something for it to blend off of and it will, it just creates a much more seamless blend. So Bird is a perfect neutral matte brown. Um, and I'm just gonna take that slightly more in 
my crease, but then still above my hood, if you can see that. And can you see, it's like just, it's blending in so much easier because I already put that base down. So that's something you can try. Okay, so I'm gonna take bird as well under my eyes because I always put a mid-tone matte brown under my eyes. I feel like it makes my wrinkles look less and then I blend. I don't know, it defines your eye, but in a really soft way. I don't know, it makes my eyes look bigger and I have small eyes, so I need all the help I can get. So, okay. So that was Stay Golden and Bird. What should we try next? Oh, this is hard. I am going to go with, I'm going to do something different. Okay, I'm going to try Gigi and I'm going to just use the multitasker and I'm going to press that on my lid. So Gigi is a really great color because it's a shimmer, but and it looks very purple, but I feel like it's a very wearable purple because it's not, it doesn't pull super purple. It pulls very nude. At least it does on me. So I'm just gonna kind of put that shimmer all over the lid. This is easily a color you can wear all on its own. Like just every day, throw this one shade all over your lid, maybe kind of blend it out with a little bit of a crease. Look at that, it's beautiful for every day. I'm totally already getting fallout. This is another great fallout brush. Like, look at that, gonzo. It's great. Okay, um, so a little Gigi. And now we're gonna do a pop of fun. So I can't help it. This is one of my favorite outer corner depth shades. Um, so if you're scared of color and you wanna dip your toe into it, you gotta try it. So this is Ivy League. She's matte. She's very dark though. She is green. I don't know why I'm saying she, but she's very, wearable like it's so dark that it just kind of gives some depth um i also love to use it as liner um it's it's a great pop of color so i'm gonna use the blend and tap brush I'm gonna tap into that and then i'm just going to tap it on the outer corner slightly in And then I'm gonna flip it over and kind of just press to blend that. Okay, doesn't look super green, does it? It can be really sheer or you could then build it by adding more just right where you want more depth. But it is such a pretty shade. Gosh, I love that color. Okay, so can you tell I'm wearing purple and green? <laughs> I don't feel like you can, and it looks so pretty. So, great way to use those colors. You might not pair those two together, but they're so good. And you guys, I would totally put a pop of Gilded in the center, even though it would look kind of like red and green. I think that would be super pretty for like a subtle holiday look. Um, it would be so good. I'm gonna have to try it, but... Um, for this look, I'm gonna try to keep it to less colors. So that is pretty much my eye, and then I can brighten. So I like to, I'm gonna show you guys what Glamazing looks like, and I'm just gonna pop that on 
the inner corner. Actually, I'm gonna use a different brush because I feel like you can't see that as well. Okay, so that gives a pop, right? You can kind of pull it up into the eye if you want, but that is, I'm gonna tone that down a little bit. Glamazing, glamazing is amazing. Okay, Unicorn will give a very similar look, just a little bit more white, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like on this side. Okay, so that's Unicorn, it's a shimmery white either. They're very, they're very similar. I actually like unicorns. So I'm going to put that right there and I'm going to use glamazing underneath my brow, just right at that arch and blend with my finger. So it's not too bling in. Okay. What else should we do with this look? So I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. So I've found a new fave liner. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Esquido, Esquido. If you are a pencil gal, like you love a pencil, that that is the easiest way to draw on eyeliner for you, you're gonna have to check this one out. It is a gel liner, so it is very smooth to apply. And you guys, I haven't had any issues with transferring up on my hood, which is a huge, huge challenge for me, which is why I normally will wear waterproof liquid liners, but this one is, it's waterproof and budge proof and it doesn't transfer, which amazes me because you guys know I lock in all of my liners with powders on top. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna line my eyes super quick. I'm going to show you guys how easy this one is. And I'm just going to thicken up my lash line. It, do, it even has a sharpener on the end. This is in black. Okay, I'm even gonna add a little bit to my waterline. Make it kind of a more nighttime look. So, if you want a daytime look, you can just stick with the upper. Um, and then you guys know me, I usually like to smoke out mine. I'm gonna show you how I use another shade in the palette, which is Salem. Salem is our jet black matte shadow. So I love to use it for liner, but I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna kind of press it, stamp it right over that, and it's just gonna kind of slightly smoke it out and it does help it last even longer, but I have not had any issues with that liner as I've been testing it. And then I'm gonna add just a tad under since I did my waterline. Now, if you do wanna amp it up a tad for nighttime, you can take that same brush, just lightly tap into Salem and kind of intensify that outer corner with the black. Let it kind of fade into that green and smoke it out slightly. I love that look. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more Ivy League to my lower lash line. And I think I'm done. What do you guys think? You like? Okay. So there's still very, there's still a lot of fun colors in there that we didn't use. So I did do an Instagram tutorial um, using different shades. I was using more of these purples and browns. 
Um, and did I use Gilded? Gilded is one of my favorite all-time shades, so it kills me not to use it right now, but it's okay. And then Graceland is my favorite glitter. So if I wanted to amp this up for a holiday look, I would just take a little bit of glitter glue right in this inner corner and I would add Graceland and it would, I mean, if I didn't have to pick up my kids today, I would probably add some glitter right now, but you know, I don't need that for my daily look quite, quite as bad. Okay. I'm going to just make sure I don't have any fallout and add a little mascara. That is the finished look. So more of an intense eye, got some greens and purples. You know, I like to match my sweater and a nude lip. So I will throw on a few different lip options to show you guys what those look like. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Love ya, bye.